Excuse me, guys. Can I show you a real quick magic trick? Okay. Watch this. Do you believe I can print this card out of my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you? In fact, I'm going to print two out and give each one of you a card. Nothing in this hand, nothing in this hand. You ready? That's for you. <laughs> Thank you. Can I show you another trick? Mm -hmm. On three, I'm going to ask you to read together simultaneously each triangle, one triangle at a time, okay? Left to right. One, two, three. Paris in the spring, bird in the <laughs> once in a lifetime. You got them all wrong. Do you know what it actually says? The first one says Paris in the, the spring. Bird in the, the hand. Once in a, a lifetime. That's zero for three, right? Uh -huh. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Can I show you a different magic trick? Mm -hmm. This one involves a few questions. Are, are you ready? Yeah. Are you a good person? Yes. Are you a good person? Yes. Yeah. Let's see if you're mistaken, okay? Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. What do you call people who tell lies? Lies. So what are you? A liar. Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you? Yeah. What do you call people who steal? Thieves. So what are you? Thieves. You're, you're lying thieves. Mm -hmm. Have your parents ever punished you? Yeah. That means you didn't always honor your father and your mother. You see, we can keep going and you'd be guilty, right? So by your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, rebellious. Is that a good person? No. And if you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Right. And should God let guilty people into heaven? So since you're not going to heaven, where would you have gone if you had died yesterday? Hell. You said it, I didn't. I only asked you questions. Right? So do you know what God did for you so he could still forgive you? What did he do for you? I died. So you're talking about Jesus dying on the cross for your sins. You heard about that, right? Then he rose again, isn't that right? <clears throat> Does that mean everybody goes to heaven? Yes. No. no, not everybody goes to heaven. In fact, the way Jesus talks in Matthew 7, most people don't make it. So do you know what you need to do? <laughs> do you know what you need to do to make it to heaven? Jesus said, he who believes in me has everlasting life. What do you need to do? Yeah. Who's the him? Yeah. That's right. So you didn't know how to go to heaven until just now. Let me give you another verse, okay? Acts 16, 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. How do you go to heaven? Believe in the Lord Christ. Yeah, that's right. Believing in Jesus. So what I just shared with you, this message is called the gospel, the good news of what Jesus did for us. Do you believe that this message from the Bible? God says in his word, Romans 1, 16, that if you believe the gospel, the good news of what Jesus did for you, you can be forgiven. You can go to heaven. Would you like to make a decision to follow Jesus right now and settle it? Okay. Yeah? How about you? Are you ready to follow Jesus? Yeah. Are you ready to follow Jesus? <laughs> now, you missed some of the conversation. Tell me how to go to heaven. Believe in Jesus. Are you already a Christian? Um, okay. So for the two of you, you did not know how to go to heaven until just now. So I'm going to ask you four questions and then pray for you to receive Jesus. Is that okay? One, do you agree that you've sinned against God like everybody else? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is God who died for you on the cross and paid the penalty for your sins? Do you commit to, to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? Do you believe Jesus rose again after he died for you? What's your first name? Alana. Alana. Genesis. Let me pray for you. Is that okay? Heavenly Father, Lord, would you please save Alana and Genesis because they just heard and understood and believed the gospel for the first time? Would you please fill them with the Holy Spirit, change them into, a new, into new people? If they're struggling with any sin, would you please cleanse them of all sin? Would you please give them the spirit to fight against sin? Help them to continue to believe in Jesus and what he did for you and never, never turn their back on Jesus and the gospel. Please change them into new people. In Jesus' name, amen. It's really that simple. But I want you to, to know that there are two kinds of believers, real and fake. Okay, so what just happened here 
you might be you might have just become a real believer okay but you also might have become a fake believer and I want you to know the difference in case you, you're a fake believer I want you to know before it's too late there are two signs of knowing what a real believer is one is you continue to believe the gospel that Jesus died for you on the cross paid the penalty rose again on the third day and by believing in Jesus before you do any good works you're saved okay that's number one number two you will grow in holiness do you know what it means to grow in holiness it means to sin less and less to obey God more and more does that make sense because people who are followers of Jesus they're not going to live like they were before and that's by the power of the Holy Spirit God gives you the Holy Spirit the moment you're saved so if you truly just got saved the Holy Spirit is now living in you and things should start to change. Does that make sense? And I want you to give to know a phrase to know how to be a Christian for the rest of eternity. Read, pray, and obey every day. Does that make sense? Read your Bible every day, pray to God every day, obey God every day, every day. What city do you, do you guys live in? Redondo. Do you guys already go to a church? <laughs> Let me give you something that has some churches listed, okay? Are you a Christian? Where do you go to church? Latter-day Saints. Latter-day Saints. We can talk about that in a second, okay? So, my name is Tony. My email is right there, okay? And then there are some websites for good churches right here. So, um, I recommend like Calvary Chapel South Bay, South Bay Community Church, and Hope Chapel. I think they're all listed in here. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you. So, reach out to me if you have any questions. So, let me ask you this. Do you, as a Latter-day Saint, do you believe the Bible is true? All of it is true. So, um, Latter-day Saint, Mormon doctrine says that as man is, God once was, and as God is, man too will be, or can be. Do you believe Mormon doctrine is true? <clears throat> So, I, I want to show you something. This is really important. I want you to think about it, okay? I'm not going to get on your case. I just want you to see this. So, what that Latter-day Saint doctrine just taught is that God was once a human being who became God, and human beings can become God. Have you heard them teach that to you? That's what they actually believe in. So, I want to show you in Isaiah 43 what the Bible says, okay? Okay, 43.10 says this. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. And before me there was no God formed, nor shall there be after me. So God is saying he's the only God. No, no God was created before him, and no God is coming after him. But Mormon doctrine teaches that God was once a man, he became God, and, it, and human beings can become God. There are gods after him, and gods before God. So, I know this is hard for you to hear, but Mormonism is, is not true. And I know it's, it's hard. I want you to do your own research. Look, look up the false prophecies of Joseph Smith because a true prophet of God can never give a, a false prophecy. And the only kind of prophecies that Joseph Smith ever gave were false ones. So I'm saying this to you because I love you and I want you to know the truth so that you can make it to heaven. Thank you so much for talking to me. God bless you. Thanks, guys. God bless you.